Hello, my friends, it is I, the zombie. I have a bit of a cold, so my uh, throat is a bit ruined. However, it does give me that voice. I'm not sure how this will sound in, you know, post-editing, but you know I am optimistic. Now then, I've made sure that, uh, you know, the volume is up, the world is loud, and the Shadow Ganglers are very much able to scream into my ear. We are stuck in what seems to be the ending room so far. Be aware of your real-world surroundings. Live developer stream at the final room. Oh, wonderful. I can't wait to watch Twitch. Dragon's Voyage. This is a live build. Keep up to date with changes, updates, and events on the Dragon Scales VR Community Discord. You can see it here. And he has a Patreon. And he has Twitch. Please feel free to look at that, and I'm going to touch this. Oh, it's a light. Well, that's... Horrifying. That's a dead end. And there's no sound. I might have to do something about that. What is this? I feel like I'm far too small for this. Give me one moment. Okay. Fine. What I'm going to do then is I'm simply going to fly. So, <clears throat> we made it. You are here now, just as I once was. Time is irrelevant. The question remains, however, where are we? By dragon. Well, I can only assume that we are underground, where air is limited, that's a shadow. Hello, friend. Are we going to be the best of friends? No, you've vanished. Wonderful. So, time to get a move on. Now, there may be questions as to zombie. What happened to your friends, like that wolf fellow, or chess? And zombie. That is a monster. And zombie. Where are we? And zombie. Why do you smell? And my answer to that is, I don't remember the order of the questions I gave. However, Wolf, I believe, is currently stuck giving Darth Vader a lightsaber job. I believe Chess is currently drinking heavily to forget the time she spent in all of those horror maps. Seems to be going well. And I smell because I don't shower. What is this? Are you seeing them too? It's alright, they can't hurt you yet. Wonderful, I can't wait for them to pull my tail through my tongue. I'm not sure they're actually connected, but who knows? It's connected to the gut somehow. I'm certain it'll be connected to my backside. I've gone in a circle. Wondrous. Hmm. I will not use my marker yet. I shall refrain from using that. After all, I do not wish to cheat. I do not wish to sound off that I am using illegal thingies. I'm going to use my own gusto, my own guile to get through this, and I am going to be scared shitless. And I will have you know that I will be doing it the entire time with my butt clenched so tightly I will be turning coal into diamonds the entire way through this. What is this? Oh, that's a shadow. And this... I can only assume is the door. There are eight wonderful lights. I wonder if I have to find eight objects. Who knows? That is a vent. Considering that there is no noise whatsoever, I can only assume that the game is bugged or my hearing is. I don't know. With all the screaming that has been going on into my ear, I can only assume that I have gone deaf from the constant exposure to ear rupturing sound. Well, at the very least, the palette is interesting. I love rust. It's my favorite tone. Hmm. So, I can't really interact with this door. Bugger. I went that way. It went nowhere. I shall go this way. That is a vent. That looks like a dead end. I shall avoid it. Now then. Well, that just went nowhere. Wonderful. Now, a note. Let it go. Just like we trained. Do not let the fear consume you. Oh, worry not. I am currently shitting myself. If not for the fact that my tail was a butt plug, I would have most likely caused a horrible mess, but thankfully it ke is keeping back the brown tide. I can almost guarantee that uh, there would be a tragedy should, uh, should my tail not actually be a butt plug. But, joke's on me, it's not a butt plug. It is an actual tail. It hurts if I were to pull it. Then again, I imagine if you pulled on a butt plug hard enough, it would probably sting. Hello, have I read you? Yes, I have heard. Yeah. 
Okay. Can I interact with this? No. Ooh, sorry about that. Had to clear my throat. Now then. Where was I? I don't know. I quite frankly don't know where I am. And I think I said quite instead of quite. Honestly, again, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit unsettling to be in here. I mean, the lack of any ambient anything, really, to, uh, beguile my ears has, if anything, made it a lot less scary. I'm not sure. After all, I'm back at the beginning. Tempted to use that pen. After all, uh, I don't seem to be making much headway. Like, any headway. I'm making negative headway. I can't walk through this. It is a physical object. Now then. I have to say, there's a lot of nothing going on here. It's just me talking. This is the type of thing that someone would listen to and go, hmm, this sounds more like a podcast than, you know... Well, not even a podcast, this just sounds like some random tosser on the internet talking to himself as he tries to figure out a maze, and does it badly. And you would be correct, it is me doing a maze, badly, sounding like a tosser on the internet. And to that I say, I at least think I am... Hello? So flipping back and forth gives us a 67% critical strike damage for 4 seconds on any of my tramples. Now I get 3 tramples if I'm last hitting with the right Hello? Hand, which is why I'm consistently going back and forth on that. And why this is always giving me that 67% critical strike damage. I can only assume that someone is playing video games in there. I am either in a monster's basement or I am in some gamer's basement. I mean, quite frankly, the walls are telling me that, honestly, it's indistinguishable from each other. I mean, I don't know. It could be. And I think I just made it to the end. Oh. 20% chance each time, so... Where am I? A little bit of crit. I mean, you're almost... I, uh... Uh... Mm. Um, especially on the weapon, I think we have... You know... So, I'm going to turn him down. Now, uh... I, uh... I'm not entirely sure. I'm not. However, I will be right back. So then, my friends, this has been Dragon's Void by Dragon DSVR. As you can see, there's a bit of him playing what I can only assume to be some kind of game. I'm unfamiliar. Who knows? Maybe you guys know it. Obviously, the audio's off because, uh, well... His audio, his stream, I'm not go going to exactly put it in my video. Now then, I was, was, going to do another horror map. But I can't find one that I can really stack on top of this one. And I don't want to let this footage go to waste. Now, yes, it is a maze. No, it is not amazing. If anything, it is a fairly dull maze. However, that's because there's nothing in it. There's no music, barely any monsters, and the path is fairly straightforward. Yes, there's a little bit of lore. However, not that much. I couldn't glean anything from it. I mean, the man seems to have some idea. After all, he built the thing. It's not bad. I like it. And because of the blue lights along the hallways, you can kind of see where you're going without needing a light. Which, you know, I like this. I like this. It may be a pathetic light source, but it's an interactable one. It's something. Either way, though, again, I wished to add another. Stack another horror map on top, but I couldn't. I, I tried, I looked, and unfortunately, I just could not locate one. So, I think this is, unfortunately, where this ends. So, please check out Mr. Dragonwolf. He has a Twitch, a Twitter, I'm sure, which I'm not going to link because I don't want to dig for it. But he's got Patreon and all that. Check him out, support him. He's doing stuff. He streams. Check him out again. And, uh, yeah, I've been traveling Zomble. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do the same with this guy, otherwise his mustache will eat you. And I'm going to go now. Fare thee well. Now... Where the fuck do I go next?